Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new Ask Victor video. It's a video that I respond or so I answer the questions that I have received the months before. And if you want this series to continue, uh, you can leave the the questions below in the comments below, and I will respond to them more or less in the middle of August. I do this more or less in the middle middle of each month. These months I go with a little bit of delay, but I have to apologize first of all because. Uh, this month I've been on holidays, I'm out of home and I did not have time to do videos uh, I re I've been in uh, places where it was not easy to record videos and now I'm trying to record this one at my parents' home in a moment that almost everybody is sleeping during the day is very difficult because they have the kids around I have uh, it's quite noisy and it's difficult to find a good to, uh, moment to make videos. Uh, I will I, I hope to go back to schedule more or less uh, middle of next week. This weekend I am still out of home. So let's go with the questions and please if you want me to answer more questions next month, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you want this series to continue, uh, I want to thank all the people that is leaving the questions. And I will start with the questions that were left uh, on Ask Victor of June. So let's just start with Eric Beer 40k. Uh, say nice answers, Victor. Uh, what is your favorite meal from your home country, and do you like a spicy food? Okay, I'm from Spain. Uh, in case that you did not get, I have a lot of um, type of uh, favorite mix uh, meals. I I really like to, uh, or depending on the day, I will have different type of uh, favorite meals. But if I have to choose something, um, I don't know, one thing that I love to do is tapas. Tapas is like uh, uh, doing, uh, eating just small, like small dishes and, uh, and a lot of, uh, with a lot of variation. For example, uh, you can have like um, what we call uh, patatas bravas, that is like uh, fried potatoes, but you can have um, calamaries or a squid fish fried. Uh, there is a lot of different food, but if I will choose one, I will choose one that is very special, and it's I don't think you it's easy to find out of Spain and even out of Catalonia. That is called black rice. Uh, it's a uh, rice cooked with a squid fish. And uh, it's black because they use the ink of the squid fish to make it black. So it's really a nice dish, very special from the region I am. It's a type of paella, if you are familiar with the uh, Spanish food. Paella is a rice feast with seafood. Can also be done or can be also rice with meat or combination of seafood and meat. Uh, but normally uh, paella is very traditional in in Spain, especially in the east coast of, or coast of Spain. And I, from the type of paellas, there are several types, I will choose their black rice. Uh, then, let's say, and do you like spicy food? Well, my wife is from Mexico, so I was not used to eat spicy food, a lot of spicy food before, but more and more I'm enjoying spicy food, especially good Mexican spicy food. I have to say that I like spicy, but I don't like my mouth to burn. So uh, when the spiciness is so much that I cannot taste anything about uh, noticing my uh, mouth burning, I will not like that. But I, I like spicy food, I like Mexican food, and most of the Mexican food needs this and a little bit of a spiciness, at least, if not a lot. Uh, I, I like a spiciness, but with a not, not too much. I have to say that in Spain, uh, it's difficult to find a spicy food. It's not in the taste of the people in Spain normally. Uh, we have uh, normally we have more garlic, onion, uh, black pepper, but uh, it's not very uh, common to have um, chilies in Spain. Uh, are not very common and type of chili food but spicy is not common in Spain so it's not something that even the type of Indian food the spiciness from the Asia is not very common in Spain and uh, is not easy to find uh, more and more is coming but uh, Spain is, uh, is a region that have a, a very strong uh, cooking tradition a very strong gastronomy and yeah, and it's not easy to have influence from other regions sometimes unless you go to special restaurants and more and more are growing in Spain but when I was a kid it was not very common 
So I like spicy food, especially now that I'm married with a Mexican woman. And I have to say that uh, I'm enjoying some a little bit of spiciness, not too much. And then go with uh, Scarlock the Wanderer. He makes me a lot of questions on very different topics. So let's start with uh, uh, the first part is on, on the Shakespeare question. It's no Shakespeare war will be released with dual uh, order versus chaos. Uh, miniatures pack and death faction will surely follow. Do you think that destruction faction will also be released at that time? I think we will have the four factions there. I think we have a representation of order, chaos, destruction and death. And it, I guess it will come during the first month of launch. I will not suspect less than that. If they don't launch something for destruction, it will be a mistake. I really expecting to see there some Iron Joes type of uh, miniatures. So I, I, if I have to bet, uh, we know that we have the Stonecast Eternals. We know that we will have the Block Bone. Uh, the corn, we know that uh, we will have the, the skeletons, and I guess Iron Joes will come at the beginning. Uh, this is my, it's a guessing, I don't know by fair. But uh, I will, if I engage worship, I will not leave uh, in the Iron Joes out of the equation. Uh, do you think that Gange Worship will use Shakespeare as a gaming platform to introduce the revamp and new factions like Elf or Skaven? I think uh, Shakespeare will follow, I guess Shakespeare uh, will be at the same time, will, will go with the same factions that we see on Age of Sigma. This will be my guess. So if there's something is revamped in Age of Sigma, I will expect to see uh, the, the miniatures in Shakespeare, if Shakespeare is a success. So, but I guess Shakespeare will follow, the, I, if I will be against worship, I will put the, the launches together. So I will launch the new factions for Age of Sigmar and at the same time the new miniatures for Shakespeare on the same faction. Uh, I think doing it in a different way, it will be difficult for Games Workshop to do it. So uh, most likely, I guess on the first, at uh, the beginning we will see new uh, miniatures from the factions that have been relaunched recently in Age of Sigmar. And if they launch a new mm, faction in Age of Sigmar, I, I guess, we are going to see this also relaunch in 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 Shakespeare. Uh, let's go on, uh, now to uh, Age of Sigmar question. So, with Death Guard introduced in the release of the new Warhammer 40k 8th edition, do you expect to um, to have Chaos Nargel Mirror release in Age of Sigmar in the coming weeks? I will say it's not that difficult if they relaunch. Um, the point is, it, it, it depends a lot. If they are relaunching the demons, yes. But I see that they are relaunching the Death Guard. And Death Guard is mainly marines with some zombies. So I'm not expecting a relaunch in Nature Sigmar. Or not a big relaunch. I don't expect too much in Nature Sigmar. Uh, because Death Guard is really uh, a space marine base. And I have to say that in Nature Sigmar... Uh, just before I just Sigmar, they they relaunched Nargil for fantasy. We have the the blind the blind kings, and we have also the the Lock king. So I don't think I don't think they will relaunch. I don't know if they will do a variation of the the, the type of zombies into H Sigmar, but I'm really doubting. I think they will focus on Death Guard, and they will not relaunch the demons. So they will not relaunch Nargil. In AOS, I think an argument uh, in AOS is quite recent. Um, not sure, uh, unless they, uh, but I'm I'm not completely sure they will do a relaunch of Nargel in AOS. And then we go to ninth age question: What would it take um, for you to start playing the ninth age? The release of version two point zero in September. I would like to start. I, I was thinking a lot to start playing the Ninth Age. I'm a little bit lazy because I like physical books. I don't like to read on the screen, and I don't want to spend a lot of time printing the the book. And on top, what I don't like is that the the rules have not been stable. So I need a stable rules. I need rules that are not changing uh, every X month. If the rules are not stable and they don't commit to have a stable rules. 
I think it's going to be difficult for me to engage. There are two points. I like physical books, and this is one point. I, I can print it to have that, but I also like uh, stable rules, and I don't like the rules are changing so much in short, in so little uh, 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 range of time. So I hope uh, the version 2.0 is more stable, and I will try to try because I have uh, my Bretonian that I, are on the square bases. I will not rebase my armies. And at least the Bretonian, I would like to use them as Bretonian. And I also have the Dogs of War that can, can use them as the new Empire faction. I don't remember now the name. So, looking forward maybe to do some games, to start uh, getting introduced. Uh, I'm a little bit lazy to learn again all the rules. I guess there is a lot from uh, Fantasy 8th edition there, but they need to differentiate more and more. So, I don't know. <coughs> Uh, maybe I give a try once the September version is out there, or maybe you now in August when I have a little bit more of time, I will give a try. And now let's go for questions from Vince Venturella. So he says, new questions. Is the Emperor dead? There has been some rumors and hints. Do you think they will tell us uh, or just let us sweat? I don't think the Emperor is dead yet. Uh, if the Emperor dies, the Empire will collapse, most likely, because they need the the Emperor, the Astronomicon, I think it's called, to guide the, sh the, the navigation. Without the Emperor and without the, uh, the Golden Throne, it's not possible the navigation in 40k. I think, if the the, I don't think they will, uh, if they kill the Emperor, uh, it's going to be... A big change in the fluff. I would like to see what happens if the Emperor dies or if the Emperor wakes up. Maybe the way of the Emperor to get out of the throne is just dying and being uh, resurrected in form of a demon or something like that, or of, uh, like a warp entity. Because we see now more and more that uh, the, the Empire have warp entities. San Celestine. It really looks like the will of the Emperor. Uh, maybe it's a projection of the will of the Emperor. But it's really depending on the warp. When the warp was mm, blocked in the uh, in the war of the on the fall of Cadia, there was a moment that the warp was blocked by the monolith, by the monolith, by the it's called the, the, the stones, and the, so it was activated. Uh, at that moment, San Celestine was losing power because he's an entity of the warp as well as the demons. So it's like a good demon. So it's, it's like a demon of the empire, San Celestine. This is the reason why she's resurrecting and why she cannot be killed uh, completely. So I guess the emperor it can be like a, almost a warp god, like the chaos gods, no? So... I guess if if they kill, it will going to be a big change on the fluff and can cause a big uh, more apocalypse more in, on the universe. Uh, and then they go, how big is your Gene Stealer Force going to be in the new uh, eighth edition points? Do you feel you have a big enough force? So I will have what is about thousand points. So normally the games, as I have seen, uh, they the people try to play one thousand five hundred, two thousand points. I'm making some calculation on the um, on the thousand points, but I will not increase more. Uh, so far, I will paint what I have because I can combine them with my Imperial Guard. Um, them two together, I think they can have good synergies and they will reach easily the two thousand points needed if I want to go to tournament. So I will give, leave the force as it is. Once I paint the Gene Stealers and the last hybrids, I will stop there because I want to start painting other things. And one of the things I would like to paint is what you are asking on the next question. Are you going to pick up Mortarium? Yes, and I will paint it. So if uh, I guess Mortarium will be launched in August, it's my guess. I guess before the Shakespeare. So I expect August to be mainly Space Marines, more Space Marines and then Death Guard. Maybe end of August, beginning of September. So yeah, Mortarium will go to my collection. I want to collect all all the primarchs on plastic. So, yes, uh, if Mortarium is coming, I will pick it and I will paint it. Uh, we got we got to get you on the eyebrows at some point, buddy. Not sure if I will go to the eyebrush. Uh, I'm happy. 
if I want go to armor, just try to speed up some of my uh, some of my painting. But I, I'm not sure. I want to go in the rush. I'm think a lot about that. Uh, not in short term. For example, not in 2017. For sure, I will not go into the air rush. Maybe in future. I never discard. You can you can never say never. But not in that case. Okay, no, not in that year. So, and that's all the questions. I hope you find them interesting. I, I hope you like them. And again, apologies because I have not put too many videos recently. Uh, I been it's been like two weeks without videos. Uh, I've been out of my home uh, in other places that were easy to make videos, and I was quite busy doing other things. But I want to come back to schedule by next week. And then, yeah, I will try to keep again the pace of one video more or less per day. Maybe I will do some more videos from here, from my Paris home. Uh, but so far, that's all for now. So, yeah, uh, that's all for this video. Please let me know what do you think. Leave uh, your questions in the comments below if you want to see more uh, in the next month. And as usual... Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.